Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother, hey, Yakanin. <clears throat> First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wakakwadash, Barakatum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I would like to say Shalom, okay? Today's lesson is just a little quick in transit, ready to go to work. Um, just, just meditating on, you know, the, the, uh, the mindset we should have in this truth as men that are doing the work, as men that are pursuing to be of the elect. That's the 144,000 that is, man. All right. And, you know, confidence comes from work. That's why the scriptures say, as a man think, if so is he. You know what I mean? You're not going to think something. That you don't feel you deserve You know what I mean So if you feel like you're not of the elect That's most likely because you're not doing the work That the elect would do If you feel like you are the hopeful elect That's because you're doing what the hopeful elect Or what the elect will be doing If they was here Alright because the scriptures say to put on as the elect man. And what would the elect be doing If they was walking the earth right now Alright they would be doing the work They would be going out to the highways and the byways Presenting a body of living sacrifice. They'll be getting up their daily edifications, their videos to feed the sheep. They will be walking like the elect, man. You know, walking as an example, as, a, as, a, as an embodiment of how to be as a man of the Lord. You know, all the things that the Lord said, you know, slow to anger. You know, charitable among brethren. You know, uh, you know, a good brother. You know, someone that you can look up to and someone that you can get advice from and someone that's not too controlled by their flesh, but has a kind of a balance between the flesh and the spirit. You know, a good balance, you know, someone that's knowledgeable, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So when we when we talking about being in the elect, that's just not something light. You know, that's that's the that's the highest of high things in terms of, you know, Israel itself. You know, obtaining that crown, obtaining that salvation, you know, being one, being the first fruits of Israel. All right? Because we know the order goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, and then the elect, you know. So that's not nothing light, man. All right? And we know it's, it's hard, man. And it, and it takes consistency to be of the elect, man. This ain't nothing that you can just kind of take a break from. You know what I mean? You can't just go hard one week and, y'all, I'm going to take off this week because I went hard last week. Then I'll go hard next week. Oh, I'm going to go hard doing when it's nice out, but when it's cold out, I'm going to kind of taper back a little bit. You know? Now, as Christians say, to be to be constant in season and out of season, man. So even when it's raining, when it's cold out, when it's 110 out, when you don't feel like it, you might be a little sick. You might have broke your leg, broke your arm. You know what I mean? You, you still got to go out there, man. Ain't really nothing that can hold. If you able body, you're supposed to be out in the highways and byways, man. All right? Not making an excuse to not go out, man. But looking forward to doing the work. Being on fire. All right? The elect is on fire, man. Even when they're going through the fire, the elect is on fire. You know what I mean? Even when they don't feel like it, the elect, the elect is still doing what they need to do. Because, you know, we all get that spirit where sometimes we don't feel like it. You know, but the elect don't let that little feeling, that 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 temptation, all right, that fleshly desire, let them from doing, let them not do what they supposed to do. You know what I mean? We all are still in this flesh, so we all susceptible to them vainly thoughts and 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 and, and, and things that we all uh, succumb to in the flesh. You know, which is sometimes you know the lustful desires of the flesh. You know, whether that be food or whether that be woman or whether that be, you know, money and, and stuff of this of this world. But the elect is able to get back on track all right, and, and, and keep pushing forward and keep keep pushing the plow, man. That's what it's about. Keep pushing for this work. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And when you pushing something, I right, say you in the gym, you pushing a sled or you pushing a wheelbarrow, you pushing a mower. Hey, that take that takes strength. You know what I mean? You got to kind of be be locked in, be focused on pushing that mower, on pushing that that, that that sled or whatever. You can't just lax a days ago do it. You know what I mean? You got to have a, 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 a plan. 
you know, and our plan is to feed the sheep. Our plan is to walk, you know, circumspectly. Our plan is to walk vigilant. Our plan is to walk sober. So that when Yahweh Shem Yahweh returns, we are able to receive those crowns. We are able to be counted worthy to receive that salvation. All right, we are we are counted as those laborers that he's looking for when he comes back. You know? And that's a heavy thing, man. Because best believe the elect, man, hey, you going through a lot of shit. But that's because your calling is higher than a lot of people's, man. That's what people don't get. A lot of people in the world, they complain about how they life so hard and how they going through a lot. Well, did you ever sit back and think that that's maybe because your calling is higher than the next person, man? So the Lord's putting you through certain fires and harder fires and longer fires and, and harder trials and tribulations because he needs you to be at a higher level than most people. You know? That's why the Lord puts us through them trially through them trials and tribulations, through them fiery experiences. That's why the Lord knocks us down to build us back up. Because everything's a test, man. And once you can understand that, you won't get so down from the down times, man. You won't be so sad and depressed due to storms. Because you understand that that storm is meant to make you, not break you. If it never rained, how would the flowers grow? You know, the flowers need more than just the sunshine. They need to be watered. You know, and then the sun makes them grow. You know, stuff like that. And that's how we are, man. All right, we just seeds that the Lord is watering, man. All right, we all see good days. We all see bad days. All right, they come and go. The point is to stay humble, to stay lowly. Never get so high, never get so low. That's that balance, man. Not a false imbalance where you super hype and you super high-minded because things are going your way in life or not super low and super depressed because things ain't going your way in life just to kind of have an even kill with mindset so it's like okay that's you know thanking the lord for that i appreciate that you know i'm not going to get too out of control with it because as soon as shit can go bad as fast as things are going bad they can go good and vice versa as fast as things are going good they can go bad you know but the whole point is to keep pushing in this truth keep pushing in this work no matter what, man, your whole family turn on you, your friends turn their back, your girl leave you, your kids don't want to be with you no more, you might go broke for a little bit, you might lose your job, it might be hard. Hey, we still pushing, man. We still doing this work. That's what the elect would do. And it's all about your mindset. You only going to think what you deserve, man. And if you're going hard every day for the Lord, why wouldn't you think that you're going to receive salvation? Didn't the Lord say you're going to look out for his? Ain't you doing things that are required of the Lord? Ain't you doing things that please the Lord? So then why wouldn't you think that you're going to receive salvation? We don't got no time to doubt, man. Doubt and faith don't go hand in hand. We got to have faith that we're going to be of the elect, man. And not only do we got to have faith, we got to have the works that prove it. Because faith without works is dead. You know? We got to have the faith, then we got to have the works that back it, man. The actions. Just like we say we love the Lord, but we got to prove that with our actions. Because we know a lot of people just say they love the Lord, but they don't prove it, man. They just say it with their lips. The elect is going to prove it, man. All right? So that's just a little edification video, Lord willing, it's uplifting and edifying to the to the sheep out there. All right, I just want to say all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shirwa Kakodash by Rakad Thumb. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I would like to say Shalom.